Want to know what the going rents are in a particular area? Rentometer's Quick View feature gives you this information, and this short demonstration will show you exactly how. Both our free trial users and pro subscribers get unlimited access to Quick View. I'm already logged in and I entered an address, so I'm ready to run a RentCom report. Time to click on the Analyze Address button. Rentometer can now deliver our rent analysis faster than ever with QuickView. QuickView gives us the key rent metrics for the address that we searched. It includes the average and median data over here and the helpful map showing you the address you entered, which is indicated by this orange bubble icon, and the surrounding comps in the area. Sometimes this is all the information you need. Pro customers have unlimited access to QuickViews, so with a pro account, you can run as many of these as you'd like. After reviewing this information, you may determine you'd like to edit the search filters and rerun the search. So up here, you can change the filters. You might want a different bedroom or bathroom count or explore other aspects about your area. Then click the Analyze Address button, and that will rerun the quick view with the new information you entered. From there, you can determine if you want the more detailed analysis provided in the full pro report. The full pro report is only a click away. Pro customers are given a certain number of pro report credits based on their specific price plan. We want you to maximize your full report credits, so we recommend running a few quick views before clicking for a full pro report, especially for an area you're not familiar with. For example, start with a 1 to 4 summary to see if there's a predominant floor plan. I'll enter a new address for this. Two bedroom is the predominant bedroom type, so I want to dig into that. Now I want to see the split between one bathroom and one and a half baths. There are 27 one and a half baths, so that means there are 31 baths. Pretty even split. In addition, the average rent for one bath is $2,100, and the average for one and a half bath is $2,140, so not too big of a difference. So I'm going to reset the bath filter to any and use the larger sample size of 57. Now I want to test the predominant building type by selecting apartment condo. Apartment condo is 54 out of 57, so I'll leave it set to apartment condo. With all this information I filtered through, now I'm ready to run a full report. Not only is QuickView the fastest way for us to provide you with key rent metrics, but it also keeps pro users more organized. Only full pro reports get saved in the My Report section up above. Run as many quick views as you need and they won't clutter your My Report section. Make sure to check out this amazing quick view feature yourself. You're welcome to reach out to us via email at feedback at rentometer.com. Thanks for watching.